There's a lot of conspiracy surrounding this topic, the Black Knight satellite. It was spotted in late 1998, STS Mission 88. We'll have a look at the anomaly, the original material, some reference material, and then also an artist's impression, a 3D illustration I put together for us in Adobe Dimension. This was one of the more complex objects I've ever designed in Adobe Dimension. I'll include the link to this NASA page in the video description below, along with all the other reference material. So this photograph was snapped in late 1998 during the STS-88 mission. The object we're having a look at is located right there, folks. And the photograph was taken in this area of space, just to the west of my home country of South Africa. So here's the original photograph, and the object we'll be zooming in on is located right there to the bottom left. Let's zoom in on it and take a closer look. So this looks rather strange. It doesn't look like a typical piece of space junk or debris, especially as NASA claims this was a piece of some construction material that was lost when they were working on the space station. So check this out folks, we've got this strange sort of beak shape to it. Some spherical objects on the sides, possibly even over there on the bottom of whatever this object might be. We've got two parallel rectangular parts over here and then this at the back looks rather ominous as well. Also rectangular pieces and it looks like it has a uniform thickness to it as well. So here's the illustration that I put together of what I speculate we might be looking at. I don't know if this is a piece of space junk folks but check that out. There's the comparison to the original object. So is this some type of craft? Maybe a secret black project craft or maybe even an alien craft, who knows? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this object. I know it's been covered extensively in the past, but I thought I'd put together an illustration of what I think we might be looking at. It's a very weird looking object and if it turns out to be a craft, it's amazing. It's uh, quite an incredible photograph. So here's one of many articles that you can find on the internet covering this topic. And there's another illustration of the object put together by another artist. So there's various takes on what people think this might look like. So, unfortunately, during one of the spacewalks associated with this work, things went a little bit wrong. One of the covers came loose from its tether, causing it to float away, along with some other items. Quote, Jerry, one of the thermal covers got away from you. STS-88 Commander Robert Cabana told Ross during the spacewalk, and it soon became apparent that the cover was lost for good. Subsequently captured on camera, this runaway black object was given the catalog number 025570 by NASA. A few days later, the item fell from orbit and burned up. That also sounds very strange to me, folks. Normally, to re-enter from orbit, a rocket or a craft needs to do a slow down burn so that it can be attracted down by the Earth's gravity and then eventually land. This piece of item, if it was just a piece of space junk or debris, unpowered, how can it deorbit so quickly and burn up in the atmosphere? It looks like this item is at the same altitude as 
the person who took this photograph. So that to me sounds a little suspect as well. But then again, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you think of NASA's explanation regarding this item. Here's another mainstream article covering this topic, Black Knight Satellite Conspiracy Theory. I'll include the link to this article in the description below. As I say, there's so many articles on this topic, it's unreal. So this uh, conspiracy goes, according to some UFO conspiracists, the Black Knight is an artificial satellite of extraterrestrial origin that has orbited Earth for approximately 13,000 years. Could this be a black project craft created by the military industrial complex for the Space Force? Could it be extraterrestrial in origin? Or is it just another piece of space junk that we put in Earth's orbit? That concludes this presentation, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. To my new subscribers, welcome on board. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Cheers for now.